chapter 2 exercise 2.1 sum number 10 prove that two consecutive positive integers are always co-prime so you have learned this term co-prime co-prime means what when two numbers are co-prime for example a and b are co-prime means their hcf will be one you have learned in smaller classes and you are learning right and and you have, we have to prove that the HCF is 1. Then we can say that two consecutive positive integers are always co-prime. So, we are going to take when two numbers are co-prime means the HCF is 1, right? So, we are going to take two positive, consecutive positive integers. So, how will you take two consecutive positive integers? Suppose 1 as n means another will be n plus 1, okay? So, let the, let the two consecutive positive integers, let the two consecutive positive integers be consecutive means what next next okay if three is uh, first means next four will be the next consecutive positive integer so here i'm taking generally here generally they have asked right let the two consecutive positive integers be i'm taking n comma next number will be n plus one if n is zero means zero plus one n is one means 1 comma 2. N is 2 means 2 comma 3. So, 2 consecutive positive integers. So, how will you show they are co-prime? HCF is 1. So, HCF means you know very well what method we can use to find HCF. By Euclid's division algorithm, we can prove their HCF is 1. Okay, we will check. Euclid's division algorithm A is equal to BQ plus R 0 less than R equal to R less than B. Okay, this is the important condition a is equal to b cube plus r so now we have two now consecutive positive integers right so which is greater actually n plus 1 is a greater one right so will how will you divide a will be what n plus 1 and divisor will be n so how will you write n plus 1 is equal to divide by n and find out see here n plus 1 i am dividing by n so 1 times n is n so, when you subtract it, 0. So, what will be the reminder? Reminder is 1. Reminder is what? 1, right? So, how will you write? Divisor into quotient. B into Q. Divisor is what? N. N into quotient is what? 1. Plus, reminder you are getting 1. So, reminder is what? 1, which is not equal to 0. Now, what becomes A? This becomes A, right? This becomes B. So, A, now A is equal to N and B is equal to 1. We are going to apply it is division algorithm. So, N is equal to, you divide N by 1 and check. N into 1, N, the remainder you are getting 0 now, right? So, which is the divisor? B into Q plus 0. Now, we are getting R is equal to 0. So, which is the, div which is the divisor now? This is our B, right? That will be the HCF. So, this will be the HCF. So, HCF is what? HCF is 1 now. So, we have taken two consecutive positive integer n and n plus 1. So, we proved using Euclid's division algorithm. We found out HCF is 1. So, we can say that uh, two consecutive positive integers are always co-prime. So, since HCF is 1, since HCF is 1, we proved that. We proved that. The two consecutive positive integers are always co prime. Yes.